Welcome to another episode of the Fulfillment Factor Podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Sherrill, and I'm glad you're here listening in today. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. Come right on in. All you need to know is that this is a safe space for you, the high-achieving woman who always makes sure everyone else is good, to snatch off all the different hats you wear and focus on what fulfills you. My promise to you is that every episode will be 10 minutes or less because you should not have to sacrifice self-care for the sake of time. So do us both a favor and hit the subscribe button now if you haven't already done it. While it's still fresh on your mind because you don't want, I, I don't want you to miss any of these Tuesday episodes and I don't think you'll want to miss them either. Today, I want to chat about the gift of inventory. Just this month, you know, it's... <clears throat> Excuse me. Just this month, um, you know, I found myself in the spirit of gearing up for the next year ahead. Yet, as you also probably know, you really can only start a new thing off strong if you've taken the time to get crystal clear clarity about what you've already done, what you've already tried. Um And what worked and what didn't work? What did you like and what you didn't like? And so I call that process taking inventory. And you know, a lot of times when you have a business, um, like for instance, my husband and I, we just recently launched a candle line specifically for men, right? And so one of the things that (laughs) we probably both dislike is taking inventory. It's kind of one of those pesky tasks where it's like, man, do I really have to do it? So the truth is you do have to do it. And it's not just business related. It's pertinent to life as a whole. So as you're gearing up to take on this next year and get a strong start, understand that is going to require you to take inventory. It's going to require you to truly assess the things that you already have around you, the things that you've already tried, the things that you've enjoyed, the things you haven't enjoyed, all of those things are important in in order for you to have a good, strong start uh, for something new. And so I'm literally sharing um, an example that happened to me this month. So I actually, in the process of taking inventory, I was looking through this particular day. I was looking through like old, um, old content that I had, you know, just kind of sitting around and I stumbled across a, um, a course that I had recorded. I think I recorded that. I recorded it earlier this year. I think it was around the summertime and I recorded it and I guess I forgot about it. I never actually did anything with it yeah i know right who has time to sit down and record a whole course and then do nothing with it however um when i was uh conversing with someone else they expressed to me certain needs they had and i was like really and i you know i chatted with them briefly about it you know gave them some pointers right and when i got home maybe the next day or so i was going through my files just kind of looking at at taking inventory, checking out what I already had covered, um, things, topics that I might need to expound on more next time or, you know, all those good things. And I came across this course that I had recorded back in over the summer and had done nothing with, right? And it was in direct alignment with what she told me she needed. So I literally shot her a message and was like, hey, I have this. It sounds like this is what you really need um, because the the advice I gave you, the pointers I gave were really just high level, uh, broad ideas. But this breaks things down in a way where you have a step by step system, right? I think maybe less than three minutes later, I got the notification that um, that she had purchased the course, right? The lesson in this is that inventory, we have to reframe the way we see it. It hurts sometimes to look back at some poor decisions we made. It is challenging sometimes to 
revisit some of the things that may have happened in life or happened in business that we're not proud of or that we're embarrassed by or whatever. I've had workshops that I scheduled and nobody signed up or like one person and I ended up refunding the person or I did, I've done workshops live by myself because I scheduled them. So what I'm saying is it is so important to understand that regardless of where someone is on their journey, they have just as many, they have lows just like you. Okay, they have just as many lows as you. They have lows and highs just like you. But what's going to contribute to your massive success is you having the ability to see the gift of taking inventory, to see the gift of revisiting those things so that you can start something new on a solid foundation. You're not re-implementing things that didn't work or have shown that they're ineffective because you have taken the time to go back and check for what you already have, what you already know, what you've already tried. It is so important to see and shift our thinking around taking inventory. Taking inventory is a gift. Had I not been taking inventory, I would have overlooked the fact that I had a resource to really help serve someone at a high level and deliver a solution to them without even creating something new. It was something I already had that I had overlooked, that I had forgotten. And so inventory can re-gift some things to you that you've already given birth to. There are probably some ideas that you've already had, that you've written down somewhere or that you've typed in a Google Doc somewhere and you just haven't executed. So taking inventory is a gift. Because you may already have what you need. So instead of you using your time and wasting it trying to come up with new strategy, come up with new ideas, taking inventory gives you the gift of remembering what you already have. Because you may already have what you need. You may already have enough of whatever it is that you think you need more of. You may already have the people and the connections you need to do that thing without having to garner more. Take inventory and understand that it is a gift. Take inventory of the people you do have in your life, regardless of how many you've, you've had to, to let go of this year or how many have removed themselves from your life. Take inventory of what you do have. Because much like inventory in a business, it really helps give you a guide to go by so that you're not rebuying things you don't need, so that you're not out here expending energy that you, you could be using more effectively in other areas. You might surprise yourself with what you already have if you just see the gift in taking inventory. You already have some solutions. You already have some money generating ideas. You already have some of the people that you say you want. You may say, I want some more friends or I want better friends or, you know, I want to make more money. But have you really taken inventory? Because you might be surprised at what those little side adventures or you know side hustles if you have side hustles or what those um one-off type of things you've done throughout the year if you take inventory you might just be surprised at what you've already gotten done what you already have in your possession see inventory for the gift that it is So, get what you need from this and share the rest with someone else. Okay? And, by the way, if you're an ambitious black woman who has been privately wrestling with knowing there just has to be more to life than 
in this and you feel stuck and lost and don't know what to do next and you're tired of caring so much what other people think and letting it hold you back from living up to your full potential and you're literally on edge to find some clarity and direction on how to move forward so that you can stop doubting yourself push past your fears and enjoy the heck out of life go to britneysherelle.com or click the link in the show notes to schedule your breakthrough discovery session today you have enough you are smart enough you have everything you need and you can absolutely crush your goals you just need strategy you just need a plan and you need structure and you need support to get you from where you are to where you want to be in life without being overwhelmed. So don't waste another moment going through the motions and feeling guilty about knowing your call to do more in life and feeling confused about how to make sense of it all and make your dreams a reality. Just go to BrittanySherelle.com to start your journey to fulfillment. And until next time, girl, get back to your dreams.